The two main methods for cutting involute gears are form cutting and generating cutting. Let's now show how each method works. The form cutting cuts the gear on a common milling machine using a cutter shaped like the tooth groove. After each groove is milled, the indexing head rotates the gear blank until all grooves are completed. The generating cutting uses the principle that the tooth profiles of two gears meshing without backlash are mutually enveloping when machining gears. During machining, the movement of the tool and the gear blank is similar to a pair of meshing gears, and finally an involute tooth profile is cut. These three tools will be shown below. The gear shape cutter is an external gear with cutting edges along its tooth profile. The gear hub resembles a trapezoidal thread screw with an axial profile that forms precise straight teeth. As the hub rotates, it functions like a moving rack, allowing continuous machining with high productivity. The rack-shaped cutter is a rack with cutting edges along its tooth profile. It cuts by reciprocating up and down, while the cutter and workpiece move synchronously to produce a gear that fully meshes with the cutting edges.